Bryce Harper chose violence yesterday. Uh, <laughs> and you would see, if you see a benches clearing incident, you would assume that the violence would take place from a physical standpoint. Uh, this was mental warfare for Bryce Harper. <laughs> the biggest blow thrown in this exchange was not a haymaker. It was not a kick. It was not a punch. It was cuts not a head like a knife. It, it was Bryce like Harper. Knife. It was Bryce Harper saying, you're a loser fucking organization. Every single one of you. <laughs> That's like, you're ready to square up and, and that gets dropped on you and you're like, bro. <laughs> like, you, what are you going to say to that? You're going to be like, I know. Are you fucking. I know, but like, <laughs> fight me anyway. <laughs> Bryce Harper I'm not just, a fucking loser you're a loser <laughs> like no like no I I was just in the World Series last year I've got two MVPs and 300 million in the bank account like what are you gonna say to me um that was very funny I I I hated that it was like like Moustakis caught the stray there like oh because he was staring right at Moose when he yeah. said it right he just fucking you're a fucking loser <laughs> All of you, the whole fucking organization. Moose like, what the fuck, bro? I'm just yeah. trying. Yeah, like, I'm Moose Dog is like, I'm trying to here. break like, this up. He's like, I'm a fucking, I'm a Kansas City Royal. Like, don't, don't, <laughs> right. don't load yeah. me in with the Rockies. I'm just trying well, to stay in the That's where you want to see Moose leagues. go, you remember 15, bitch? You remember 15? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not on this fucking. What if Moose Dog turns around and is like, you know what, Bryce, you're right. Hey. Fuck you guys. All of you guys. Each and yeah. every one of you guys. That's yeah. what I was thinking, like, man. Remember 2015? I was the MVP. You were World Series champ. Now look at you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a, just a couple of champs here talking to a bunch of fucking losers. Huh? Yeah, you yeah. guys, get your shit together. You guys should think about getting better players over there. Yeah. Man. I, I was thinking that same thing watching this because I've never been in a bench clearing brawl, especially not in the major leagues. But like this guy yeah. pitching for the Rockies, like I'm, I don't know who he is and I'm I'm sure a lot of guys on the Rockies aren't really close to him. They don't really have I don't know I don't know what it's like in the clubhouse, but a lot of them probably know Bryce Harper. And if Bryce Harper's fighting with the reliever, and you're someone like Chris Bryant, who's known Bryce Harper like since like third grade, you're kind of pr- halfway on Bryce Harper's side, you know? Like these bench clearing brawls. I gotta assume like, but then when he calls the whole team a bitch, you might not be on his side as much because <laughs> i don't know how these work i mean dallas you probably no, you see, probably know more than me like nope. this has happened like i feel like there's all these yeah, teams are yeah, fighting yeah, but they're yeah. not really fighting each other there's like one-on-ones and then well that's that's there you go that's it joe that's it that's exactly it right like if if we if our team like let's say we were a baseball team and we cleared benches with a, a you know another podcast another whatever like yeah, you know, like I, I, I know these guys. I know some of these guys, but let's say you, Joe, didn't know any of them, right? And you're like, no, nah, man, it's it's fuck that dude. You know what? Fuck Trevor Plouffe. Absolutely. <laughs> fuck him. Fuck his haircut. Fuck everything about that dude. I'd be like, look, I understand you're angry, all right? And if you're going to square up with Plouffe, like, you know, hey, that's going to be a you and him thing, but I can't, like, I'm not going to let you and Jake and J- and Jay Hay jump in on Ploofy. I'm not going to let that. I can't let that happen. You know, you, you kind of let it go and, you know, it's going to work itself out. Because if he's like, yo, I don't fucking, I don't know that fucking YouTuber that you guys fucking around with. I got some shit to say to that dude. I'll be like, look, you're, you're a little bigger than him. All right. He's got a little attitude. I get it. But if you guys are going to figure this out, fuck, you guys are going to figure this out. But the minute I see, you know, fuck somebody from, from Ploof's side, the minute I, minute I see Chris Rose jump in, I got to grab Rosie. Rosie, what are we doing here? I can't. Come on, Rosie. Right. And that's where I'm hugging Rosie. I'm not punching Rosie in the face. I love Chris Rose. I'm not punching him. I'm not. No. I punch whoever you got to punch. I think it's ridiculous (laughs) that we're pretending like we don't know Jake Bird. Jacob Timothy Bird, born December 4th, 1995, Mm. an American professional baseball pitcher for the Colorado (laughs) Rockies of Major League Baseball. Obviously, the same Wiki. guy who led the Pac-12 conference in earned run average in <laughs> 2018 and was selected in the fifth round of the 2018 MLB draft, son of where Joel and Heidi Bird, ah, uh, where were you? who attended West Ranch High School in Stevenson Ranch, California. Um, oh. 
Yeah, very unselected in the 2014 draft. He enrolled at UCLA. I mean, that Jake Bird, I feel like we all know who this is. <laughs> I was stunned because obviously if you if you watch the video back, Jake Bird is taunting Bryce Harper. And that's what started the whole thing. And he's did like, he, what, he's, I didn't even see that. All he, he did he was say? like, he was like looking at the Phillies dugout and like clapping with his glove. Someone in the Phillies dugout must have said something. And then he was like responding by like clapping after he got the the last out of the inning. But like, you're not good enough to taunt the Phillies dugout. Like, you're not a thing guy. You, you're not that guy. The, and and, and the, I, I, I don't Jared. like I looked at his baseball reference page after and I was stunned to see like he doesn't suck. I was expecting to see like a 568 ERA and like a 178 whip. Like he's not he's not that bad. Honestly, he's not. But hey, hey, look, who the, the only, fuck you is just he? need to know. You just need to know the guys in the room have your back. That's that's what allows individuals who you might not be readily familiar with to behave in a certain way, right? Because in, in groups, there could be like, hey, here's our leaders. Here are our vocal leaders or whatever. But if you were to pick three guys that you just absolutely could not walk down a dark alley without on your team, those might not be guys that you're familiar with. And those might be the guys that do have the respect of the room. Those might be the guys that when shit hits the fan, the C's part for because everybody in the room knows that those motherfuckers ain't fucking around. These are the Listen, these I, are the dudes. And so if everybody in the room has that guy's back, him being outwardly emotive and, you know, clapping his hands or whatever, it, it might not look or feel the way to you that it does inside that room because they all might know like, yo, Birdie, he might be a reliever, but we know when shit hits a fan, that's a guy who's got all of our back. So we'll have his back. Now, I don't know that that's the case. I'm just saying that 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 is the case in other instances. I just I can't speak to this one specific. A lot was made of, uh, you know, Bryce Harper being a phenom early and oh, Bryce Harper is going to be the next big thing and whatever, whatever, when he was in junior college and whatnot. I think Jake Bird has the final word on this, because according to David Gottlieb in a 2017 article for the Daily Bruin, uh, Jake, eight year old Jake Bird signed his friend's yearbooks, quote, save this autograph for when I'm playing in the major leagues. Mike. Love it. Mike Love drop. It. You just Love got it. what he told Bryce Harper. <laughs> save this shit, baby. Here's my autograph. Uh, That's a clown question. Hey, Bertie. <laughs> <laughs> Bright, Bryce was yeah, fired up all series. I, he had a, the game before he called some random guy out in the crowd, started talking shit to a, a guy in the crowd after hitting well, a cause, tank. Because Bryce Harper's out there with one fucking arm going, all you guys have been talking shit thinking I'm not this guy. I'm the fuck. I am that dude. Do you understand what I'm doing with one arm out here? And you got the audacity to say some shit to me? Get out of my face. I will snap you with my healthy arm. I might rip off my other arm and beat you with it. What the fuck? I've been under the impression that many people on the Rockies have been playing with one arm. Is that not <laughs> what's happening there? Um, no, joke. Not, not trying to be funny at all. I guarantee this is the longest we talk about the Rockies all year. This is their signature contribution to the 23 season. Because no of Bryce Harper. <laughs> Birdie uh, trying to fight their fucking $300 million man. <laughs> I guarantee it. Chris guarantee Bryant was out there. The, put that in the parlay. Chris Bryant and Bryce Harper are, are, are besties. Vegas. I didn't even see Chris Bryant. Where was he? He was out there. Yeah, he was out there. <laughs> just I probably, just, he, he's probably in the back going, hey, I, fuck, I wouldn't if I were you. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I mean, it, it is Mark's crazy to the just, shit out of you. <clears throat> you come back from surgery way earlier than expected. And within like a week or so, you're just in the middle of a brawl. <laughs> like, let's not do that, Bryce. Let's not. It's not worth it. You know, it's not worth it. Yeah. It's the Rockies. Come yeah, on. Could you Lose imagine like, I, I, someone grabs that elbow? Some, fuck, yeah. You don't, don't need, need that. that. Phillies fans don't need that, especially given the circumstances. But no. you're a fucking loser organization. <laughs> Every single one of you is a great line. It, I just it it it, it hurt me the, a little bit that the, Moose was on the front lines there. The the only yeah. thing the only thing that would have made out that, of there. You just deserve that. 
The only thing that would have made that better <laughs> is if Bryce just like stops in the middle and like separates himself from the crowd and just starts pointing up into the luxury suites, right? To yeah. like to, to Rocky's ownership. Like this, you and this down here, you and this. This is your fault. You are <laughs> responsible for all of this. Get the uh, fuck out of here. Bryce Harper, people forget Bryce Harper is a huge baseball fan. Like when we yes. were having these conversations with Bryce Harper about doing the podcast, like he came on and we did a, like an extensive podcast about his, his life in baseball. He wanted to run it back and yeah. come on the pod just to talk about what was going on in the game. Like he was in like, yeah, I'll be a co-host <laughs> with you guys. Like he wanted to talk yeah. about the game while he was in it, but talk about like shit like this. Like if this happened he between has, the Cardinals and the Cubs, he wanted to come on and break it all down. So he'd be talking about it. Yeah. So like when when Bryce Harper is saying that you're a fucking loser franchise about the Rockies, it's because he's probably putting his baseball fan cap on being like, how are the Rockies doing this? Like, how is this organization going to trade a guy right. like Nolan Arenado and give the Cardinals $50 million to take this player? Like he's breaking it down the way that like Jay Haywood and and being like, this is just complete ineptitude how are you doing this why are you doing this who's running this place and because he gets to be a player on the field he can also go there and just right in their face be like you're yeah, a fucking well, loser he's he's looking at moose going do you have any idea what the next two years of your nucleus looks like why are you sitting here yelling at me get the fuck out of my face yeah like whoa what what yeah. Dude, i know what your roster looks like <laughs> fucking, where they at this i know what's i know what the sky socks are all about yeah. get out of here uh, it makes it that much coming. funnier when you when you think about it that way where if you're a rockies fan and you're seeing this this brawl ensue then you're obviously on team rockies because that's your that's your uh <laughs> that's your fan that's your team but you have to look at it. if you're a rockies fan that Bryce Harper is the personification of the Rockies fan base. <laughs> like he wants Bryce to Harper fight just the yelling, team. Dick Monfort didn't invest properly in the roster this year. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He is the fan base personification going down on the field and saying to did, their face, you are a fucking loser franchise. <laughs> did, did Bryce Harper just became the Colorado Rockies fans favorite player? Uh, he has to, if, if, if interpreted correctly, <laughs> Bryce Harper is the guy that kind of told it like it was about the Colorado Rockies to the Colorado Rockies. Damn. <laughs> like, I can't imagine that the Rockies had a fan fest like the Red Sox did and ownership was up there allowing the fans to boo them. I don't think the Rockies opened themselves up to that. So Bryce Harper took it upon himself to be like, this is this is how the fans feel about your team. <laughs> I think the Rockies yeah, I tell, fans I tell you don't. What, if you've just, they're just going for the three dollar blue moons. Really, like that's the Rockies fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what you're finding out about Harp is is he he ain't pulling any punches. Like if you just had a cheeseburger and, and are going to try a dress on, don't ask Harp how you look in the dress because he's just going to let you. Like you look, you look fat. I'll be honest, kind of fat. He's yeah. going to tell you. Well, speaking of blue moons, some beers can say that they're brewed for baseball, but only Blue Moon is brewed by baseball. Beer and baseball can just go together. No beer goes better than the one that was literally born in a ballpark. Blue Moon was created at Coors Field in Denver, Colorado, home of the Colorado Rockies. <laughs> it's the natural choice for opening day and all season long. Uh, if you are at, you're at Coors Field over the weekend, you got to see Bryce Harper and the boys go to town and it's a good old series between the Phillies and the Rockies. Crack open an ice cold blue moon and enjoy that one uh, with your storied franchise. With its refreshing flavor with Valencia orange peel for a subtle sweetness and hints of coriander, Blue Moon Belgian style wheat ale is a one of a kind beer that's made brighter. It's carefully crafted and full flavored with refreshing notes and a smooth, creamy finish. Blue Moon was brewed by baseball to give you a dose of nostalgia and get you excited for the new season. Why strike out with the same old beer when you can get something that's one of a kind? It's bold flavor, bright explosion of color and iconic orange slice ritual guarantees a one of a kind beer experience. Perfect for spring weather. Best served with its signature orange garnish to showcase its beautiful bright color. A beer this good only comes around once in a blue moon, but you can enjoy it all season long. Bring the ballpark to you with Blue Moon Belgian Style Wheat Ale. It's one of a kind every time. Check out shop 
get.bluemoonbrewingcompany.com for beer and baseball merch or visit get.bluemoonbeer.com slash rocket to find Blue Moon delivery options. That is get.bluemoonbeer.com slash rocket. Blue Moon made brighter. Celebrate responsibly. Blue Moon Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado Ale. <sighs> Man, that was uh, that was fun. Rockies fan Bryce is uh, that's just a that's a character that I did not think we would get to to see develop. 